Hi everybody, Bruce Cameron again, federalprisonauthority.com. Well, we get a lot of questions from our clients. We get calls constantly about home confinement and you know the, the US probation officer came to my house and therefore I'm gonna get home confinement. No, what happens is as the offender is coming toward the end of their sentence, there is gonna be a release plan and federal probation is gonna to have to verify where it is that you're going to release to or where the offender is going to release to. So with that in mind, federal probation will come to the offender's home or loved one's home or wherever that's on their release address or release destination. The federal probation officer will then do an inspection of the home or visit the home to make sure that everything is okay. And then the person will go into the federal halfway house. And then once in the federal halfway house, another inspection has to occur, folks. Yes, that's right. Another inspection. And this inspection is not done by, by the uh, federal probation office. It's done by the residential reentry staff. And this is the problem because these RRC staff, they're overworked. They say they're underpaid and overworked. And, and so it, that can be the jam up of getting home confinement is waiting for that home inspection from the RRC staff to then say, okay, now you can go into home confinement. So it's a two-step process. One is that federal probation makes sure that your release date, excuse me, your release destination is legitimate. And then the second step is the RRC staff have to do a home inspection to make sure that you have a phone line and you have other requirements that fit their monitoring requirements and that you have a job and all these other things that have to be in place. That's why you would hire a firm like ours to assist you to get ready. And so that way your inspections go through perfectly and that way you can qualify for home confinement maybe within two weeks of entering into the RRC. Wouldn't that be great? to be living at your house or having your loved one back living at, at, at home and working and just going to the halfway house once a week to submit a urine sample and check in. That would be a really good thing, wouldn't it? I know it would. Anyway, so please contact us at, uh, you go to our site at federalprisonauthority.com and our email is federalprisonauthoritybop at gmail.com. If you have any questions or concerns, thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.